Welcome to Felix Day's northern seafront at the beginning of February 2011. It's really extremely chilly, let me tell you. The wind is coming in today right off the sea and it's not at all nice. Behind me you can just about see the beach, which is where there's going to be some quite serious beach work and sea defences taking place this summer. Since the Department of the Environment announced that they were going to actually put back in place the funding for this exercise, the work should take place during the spring, summer, autumn, whenever. I'm not sure when it's going to start, but I think it's going to result in a lot of disruption on the seafront between the War Memorial outside the Town Hall and Jacob's Ladder. I think they're probably going to be doing some rock defences as well as doing probably a beach recharge. This kind of ignores one of the issues that's going on at the moment, which is the erosion underneath the pier. The pier is suffering quite a bit from erosion, beach erosion from underneath it, and the pier owners are having to prop it up considerably. It must be costing them a fortune. In today's report, we're also looking at Felixstowe Town Centre, where the main area of Hamilton Road is completed with its new surfacing, but some continuing work is going on in the seaward end of the road. It looks as if they're doing a bit around one of the junctions, and that's causing quite a bit of disruption at the moment. Hopefully it'll be over soon. It's also time now to start a look at town centre shopping. I've had a look at what shops have got empty and it's really not as bad as I thought it was. At the moment there are two or three in the town centre empty, there's one or two going to come empty quite soon I understand, but it doesn't look too bad, it still looks quite attractive. I'd be interested in a shopkeeper's view of how trade has gone since the parking rigs have been changed and since it's less easy for disabled people to stop their cars anywhere they like. Next time round we'll be having a look at the outer end of Hamilton Road towards the railway station and the co-op and we'll be continuing to bring you any interesting stories that fall under my nose in the meantime.